It's a hot one here in Wisconsin. Had some warm weather move in. Got into the 80s today. And a favorable wind, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to hunt a water hole with my recurve. I hunted this location uh, last week. It's a little bedding area. I was really kind of too late getting out here. And by the time I got in the tree and set up all my cameras and stuff and started doing my little spiel about, you know, where I was hunting, whatever, it was already daylight. The deer were moving in. I had a, a doe actually sneak in behind me while I was talking to the camera. Most of the deer traffic, when it comes in here, it goes to bed, comes right through here. Goes right through there. Or they go on the outside edge there and they dip in. So I gotta keep an eye on that. Occasionally, on my back side. Occasionally, we go here to come in from up here. Come down through here. She eventually cut my scent line where I walked in and she followed it actually into bow range, but I uh, never presented a shot. She finally got nervous and, and left the area. The next time I hunted, I think it was a, a day or two later, I didn't get any video of this, but I was hanging my platform. I was in another tree in here, close to the little bedding thicket. And in the moonlight, I could see a buck down below me. I was climbing down the tree to tie on my bow and, and get my backpack. I was probably about eight feet off the ground. I looked down, buck standing there right below me, eight, at broadside, like eight feet below me. He never heard me or never paid me any attention. I can't believe that, but he, he eventually walked off into the bedding. I think he eventually winded me because he got downwind and I could hear him stomping over there and I don't know whatever happened to him if he stayed in there or if he left but at any rate we got a water hole right here in front of me I'm about 60 or 70 yards from it and the bedding's out there let me give you guys a little closer look at what's going on here so we got a little water hole right here in, these, in this uh, you can see the little willows and stuff there the water hole's right there and just out there, you can see the tops of some buck on that dark green brush out there. Right in there, I guess it is. Full of beds, full of deer beds, full of deer sign. That's where that buck was heading into. I was hunting in a tree back over that way and he was coming into here. So I'm gonna just find a little spot to tuck into the brush over here next to the water hole. And uh, just sit back and wait. It's probably going to be a pretty boring sit. May not see anything at all. Whatever comes in is getting it. Or I'm going to attempt to anyway. <laughs> Who knows, I may miss. Like I did a few years back, I had a doe at a water hole and totally screwed that shot up, shot right under. Anyway, I'm going to sneak over here and get the cameras rolling and sit back and enjoy the evening. Hopefully we see something. I may be setting up in a deer bed or buck bed got this rub right here back here got that little bed area there they can see deer approaching but i'm gonna hunt here because any deer that come up here all the all the tracks are like right here around that edge right over there get some good cover right behind this tree and then i can come up and take a shot off I'll knock some of this grass out of the way just so I have a clear lane to shoot through.
Is my lighter not still glowing? <sighs> so close. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go right through it too. I mean, I was it just it was like slow motion. I was watching that arrow go, and then it dropped and went right below her. <laughs> and they just one one of the the smaller ones just ran over to the left a little bit and stopped. The other ones ran up the hill and stopped. The big big doe I shot at just ran up the hill. You know, was that another five or ten yards at most? And then she turned and just stared at me. And then that little one went over there and was sniffing the air. And they finally all came back down to the water hole. And they just been milling around for the last thirty minutes it seems like. And I've been over here behind this tree just kind of hanging out. And it was hard to see them sometimes because that light had knocked so freaking bright. It was a uh, you know messing with my eyes. One of the deer went over there and actually like put its nose right on the knock and uh, almost like it put it in its mouth because the light, I noticed it went out. I thought it went out. It was just a deer down there sniffing it, licking it or doing something. But man, that was exciting. It's getting late, I need to get out of here and uh, go home and get some sleep because I may be back somewhere tomorrow morning, honey. I don't know where yet, I'll figure that out tonight.